<laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Elijah and I, we suck at our jobs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get that all the time of like, what? You haven't seen any you're on a movie podcast? I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Well, to be fair, for all of those, I mean, like, it's not really like, like, like they don't, we, we, we have no veil. We can't, we have, there's no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So writing original screenplay. (laughs) (laughs) This is, uh, this is weird. I haven't done this in a while. Because uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone noticed, but we haven't been around in a couple of weeks, just out of nowhere. But it's been for good reasons. Justin and I have both been, I think, pretty, uh, what would you say, productive. You've, uh, you're still doing a lot of shows. You have a show this week, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah, I got, I got two. That's pretty cool. Three. Sorry, three this week. This week? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm a tired, I'm a tired boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, you guys are lucky that we're doing an episode today. But I'm just kidding, because <laughs> we're both tired. Yeah, right. We've been doing a lot. Yeah. But you've uh, been doing more productive stuff, though. You're doing, you're doing some life changing stuff. A little bit, yeah. I uh, officially have an apartment set for California, which is good. That's awesome. Just got approved today, and they're like, nice. "Yeah, come on in." So I'm moving in ten days. Oh okay. shit. Really? Yeah, real quick, real quick. Wow, that was uh, really quick. Very Ten exciting. days. Holy shit! I know, I know. I mean, like you literally just told me, like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm and gonna then, go look. Yeah. That was literally like, like I want to say last week. You said that. Yeah, it was like basically a week, maybe like a week and a half ago or something. It happened wow. fast. Uh, now that oh, we're yeah. back, we get to do an episode of History of Popcorn, and it just so happens that it is our one year of debuting our first episode it was not officially a history of popcorn episode it was more of a get to know each other uh get to know the hosts episode Hmm. but um it's still a big deal and next week will be just as a big deal because that's the one year anniversary of the pilot so we'll have normal news then but it just so happens that this week they announced the razzies which are the worst films of the year and the Oscars, the best films mm-hmm. of the year. So that is what we, me and Justin have to discuss today. Mm. But um, if you're new here, welcome oh. to history of popcorn. Uh, if you don't know what history of popcorn is, it's a, uh, it's your secret public movie club. We're a podcast that celebrates everything. Movies. Uh, we give you movie news from the industry as organic as we can straight from our mouths. Uh we do movie reviews. We revisit a lot of films, we, the good and bad ones. Uh, we try to do it weekly, but we'll see where that goes. Um, <laughs> we are your hosts. I'm Elijah. I am Justin. And uh, yeah, I guess we can go right into it. Do you have the, should we start with the Oscars or the Razzies? Uh, let's start with the good first. Let's, let's, let's start this at a positive note. <laughs> and okay, go, yeah. for the, go for the Oscars. Yeah, I'm I'm hearing quite a bit of controversy behind the Razzies too this year. Have you been seeing any? Yeah, of that? I mean, like in the media, have you noticed a backlash on the Razzies this year a little more than usual? Because I have. Yes. It, yes, it's reached. I feel like a mainstream platform of like the Razzies are harmful. They're just hurting us now, especially this year. <sighs> They're just like this. This was this was too much. This is the year the Razzies went too far. I guess. That's what I'll say. That's what I've been reading. Yeah, yeah, I can I can see that, especially when it comes to and we'll talk about it more. But mm-hmm. especially when it comes with Ben Affleck for the last duel, I think that one's just a cheap shot. Yeah. But everything else, honestly, like I was kind of like just it was, it was like justified. Like I'm very happy that they that they got Ben Platt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll talk about the Razzies yeah. after we talk about the Oscars. Yeah. Uh, so let's go right into it with the what is this the 94th academy awards which i believe are on march 27th this year instead of february which i'm sad about but it's okay it's all right um (laughs) they're still probably trying to find a host yeah they're still auditioning hosts it takes a while Um, hopefully they don't do what they did last year because last year's was fucking the weirdest 
yeah. Oscars I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't think they're going to. I think they learned their lesson. Do you have it pulled up? I got I got it on my phone. All right. So I got writing adaptations or adapt adapt adapted screenplay. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that no. was hard. That was hard. A stroke? <laughs> okay, here we go. Writing adapted screenplays. Here we go. There's Coda, which I never saw. Again, I never, I never saw it either. There's a lot yeah, of movies I haven't yeah. seen that are on this list, but Oh, I should start making. I should actually write down the ones I haven't seen. I really want to see Coda though, because I've I've heard I've heard that's uh, Apple, right? Yeah, which you know that's honestly kind of. <laughs> it's not my fault that I haven't seen Coda. It's Apple's fault for not letting me have an account because I'm an Android. <laughs> an Android. All right, let's see. Yeah, so Coda. Uh, we got Drive My Car, which I also haven't seen. I have not seen that either. We got Dune, which. Um, I guess I can't is, believe, honestly. I guess that's a well adapted. I can't. I don't. I've never read it. I guess. Yeah, same. <laughs> I never saw the Lost Daughter, so this is not yep. as good. <laughs> and then the Power <laughs> of the Dog, which I still need to see too. Which I still got need nominated to see for a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Elijah and I, we suck at our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. Of like. What you haven't seen and you're on a movie podcast? I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Well, to be fair, for all of those, I mean, like, it's not really like, like, like they don't, we, we, we have no veil, we can't, we have, there's no, <laughs> <laughs> so writing original screenplay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> There's a, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're going to do another disclaimer that there is a lot we haven't seen from this year, <laughs> but um, we'll keep going and we will try to see them all before next month. If not, mm-hmm. we'll still have our opinions um, for yeah. our writing original screenplay. We got Belfast, Don't Look Up, King Richard, Licorice Pizza and The Worst Person in the World. And I feel like The Worst Person in the World is going to be this year's um I think that's going to be this year's promising one woman, what young woman, the one that I hear a lot about, mm. but I don't actually know what happens. And that movie's insane. It's going to win, I think. Yeah, I, 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 I really want to. Well, I know I haven't seen the worst person in the world. Okay. I saw, I, I did finally see Promising Young Woman, which I liked. Oh my god, that yeah. Movie. I, I had a feeling that Don't Look Up was going to be nominated for Best Original Screenplay. But I thought that was going to be the only thing it was going to be nominated for. I'm actually pretty shocked of how much don't look up got nominated i mean it's got leo it's obviously gonna be put in the campaign all the time (laughs) well it's the same kind of thing that happened with uh vice because a lot of people didn't like vice and that movie got nominated for everything as well Mm -hmm. which is kind of weird so it's kind of like you know i don't know like Mm -hmm. like, who does adam mckay know feeling uh adam mckay is dipping his toes yeah 100 (laughs) percent. 100 percent I still haven't seen King Richard. Oh, let's just do music then. There's uh, Beyonce is nominated for King Richard. Mm-hmm. And we got Lin Manuel Miranda for Encanto, which I still haven't seen. Still haven't seen either. <laughs> we, <laughs> should, we should do a drinking game. Every single yeah. time I'm Asian, I say we have not seen a movie. You have to take a shot. Yeah. You're going to get really drunk by the end of this. Yeah, you'll probably have to watch this in like three sittings, maybe four. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's Lin Manuel, which is cool. Van Morrison from Belfast. This one's weird. Is the No Time to Die from Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell? I don't. I feel like they just nominate that one every year, every time there's a new one. Yeah, I, I could look back, but I'm too lazy to. But I have a feeling that's just what they do to keep Definitely. the legacy of 007 alive as a, at the Academy. Because I personally don't. I thought the song and music was o- underwhelming. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, it's the same thing when um, uh, what's his face won for Sam Smith won for yeah. that's what uh, I knew. Specter, that's and what that, I yeah, knew. that one I was like, that's not that that wasn't a good song. I mean, mm-hmm. like it, it was, it's whatever. It's a perfectly fine James Bond song, but it's nothing new. Yes, exactly. It's the same same thing. But yeah, I totally agree. I think every single year, it's like that. That's just a shoe in. Being like, okay, well, of course we're gonna include uh, the 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 title song for a james bond movie mm-hmm. best original score we got don't look up dune and Kanto, parallel mothers and the power of the dog <laughs> i i can't even remember like i'm surprised once again that don't look up is nominated because i did that out of everything in that <laughs> the, movie i do not remember the music and i've seen the that movie original three times music. now yeah that's i don't know 
I, I don't remember. I mean, like, I remember it being like, 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 you know, perfectly fine. But the, out of everything that goes on and don't look up, the last thing I was thinking of was this a great score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is odd. <laughs> Cinematography. Yeah, let's do it. And we got Dune, which is, of course, um, upsetting a little upsetting to me because Denis Villeneuve normally works with um he usually works with Roger yes. Deakins the cinematographer but he didn't work on Dune it's uh Greg Frazier who did Dune so um that's sad to me because I wanted him to be nominated again but it's okay because he just got knighted so it's Sir Roger mm-hmm. Deakins now so good for nice. him nice um cinematography we got Nightmare Alley The Power of the Dog Tragedy of Macbeth and West Side Story now I've seen pictures and stills from the tragedy of Macbeth, Apple TV's tragedy of Macbeth. And every shot looks like a painting or mm. something that I can't even see how structurally they would make it. Mm-hmm. And so it makes me really interested to see what the movie's going to look like. So I feel like tragedy of Macbeth, just from those stills, which is which is what cinematography is basically, I think tragedy of Macbeth is going to win that one. Um should we do directing? We got Kenneth Brada for Belfast. And then mm-hmm. uh, this is a, a foreign film from Japan. And it's, I don't want to ruin his name. So the film is Drive My Car. And uh, a lot of people are raving about this. I haven't seen it. So take either. a shot. Um, <laughs> we got Licorice Pizza, Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, Power of the Dog, Jane Campion, and West Side Story, mm-hmm. Steven Spielberg. Which is crazy. He's he's back. Like yeah. that's this is like the first time he got nominated since um fuck, who knows actually. I don't I don't uh, know. I just read somewhere there's around the people are saying that he is the first person to be nominated like every 10 years for the last 60 years in Academy Award. Oh that's interesting. that's so interesting. like he he had to have won in the 2010s. Spielberg. And that's cool to see Paul Thomas's Thomas <clears throat> Anderson's name on here again. Cause usually he's only nominated for, for, for uh, for screenplay. Mm-hmm. Like the last two movies that he did was just for screenplay. Just Who write do you think it down. going to win directing though. Out of all of uh, those. Just, just, um, we haven't seen them all, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Probably uh, like the, 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 I'm just going to go for the movie that's nominated the most. I think it might go to Jane, Jane Campion. Cause that it's that the power of the dog is the, uh, the one that's nominated. It'll be Netflix's first movie to win in our coming award, I believe. Yeah. And I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. The, uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put all my eggs in that basket. We got to give a shout out to tick, tick, boom, which is nominated yes. for best film editing along with don't look up Dune, King Richard and power of the dog. So we're going to look for that. tick, tick, boom. And any which way we can. Yeah. No, I, I, I love that they, that they, noticed that because i really did like the editing of that movie spider-man no way homes nominated for visual effects uh-huh. good for them mm-hmm. i don't really want to mention the other ones i just want to say good for spider-man mm-hmm. let's go uh actress in a supporting role we got jesse buckley from the lost daughter ariana dubois is that how you say your name De- 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 yeah Bo? dubois debo from- sorry debo from west side mm-hmm. story um judy dench from belfast Kirsten Dunst from The Power of the Dog. Kirsten, 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 <laughs> Kirsten. Um, and uh, this is, I'm going to mess this name up. Anjanu Ellis from King Richard. That sounds about right. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these movies, but I like Jesse Buckley and Kirsten Dunst. So, yeah, uh, it's uh, man. I'm so happy that <laughs> Kirsten Dunst is is getting the love that she deserves again. Because mm-hmm. she's honestly, she's one of my favorite actresses. I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen her in a movie that was bad, like yeah. she was bad in. You know, like even Elizabeth Town, where it was really just the writing, not, not, not her. But she was still, you know, committed. I strangely, it. like that movie. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it's, it's, it's a, it's a likable movie. But I mean, like you know <clears throat> what I mean, though. It's not like you know, it's, it's like even like her worst movies. Even when she was a kid, like Jumanji, she was great in. Yeah, she's good. She's good. <laughs> um, speaking of her husband, Jesse Plemons, is also nominated in oh. actor in a supporting role for Power of the Dog. So they're both in that movie, which is also very cool to see real life 
married couple. Oh man, happily I mean, married yeah. couple. Seriously, now now I really want to watch that movie. I fucking love Jesse. Plemons. Yeah, me too. And uh, we got Sirian Hines from Belfast. Probably messed that up. Troy Kotzer from Coda. Uh, J.K. Simmons being the Ricardos, and Cody Smith McPhee from Power of the Dog. So there's two movies. What? Yeah. J.K. Simmons? Oh, really? Uh, I thought you were talking about Cody Smith McPhee. Yeah, I guess J.K. Simmons what too. Fuck. It. I. He must do some something Dude, powerful uh, in the movie. I don't know. I watched that movie, and I do. I barely even remember. Him oh, really? In that. Yeah. Interesting. I can't believe you got nominated. That's weird. He's barely even in that movie. That's okay. Well, hmm. that's, that's strange. That's strange. It'd be very cool to see uh, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons both win. That I just, yeah. uh, I don't know if that's ever happened. If a married couple has ever both won an Academy Award the same year. Um, I think uh, it was Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem. Oh, wow. Year. Good for them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go actress in a leading role. We got Jessica Chastain in the eyes of Tammy Faye, mm-hmm. Olivia Coleman, the lost daughter, Penelope Cruz, parallel mothers, Nicole Kidman from being the Ricardos and Kirsten, Kristen Stewart and Spencer. Nicole which Kidman is now being the Ricardos. Dude. Okay. Just, <laughs> yeah. What is happening here? What is happening? What is happening here? I mean, fine, 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 fine. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> I think Kristen Stewart's going to win and everyone's going to be oh, pissed. Yeah. Um, but I think if it's not going to go to Kirsten Stewart, it's definitely going to go to Jessica Chastain. We got actors in a leading role. Andrew Garfield, tick, tick, boom. He's playing. I, I hope he wins, honestly, but he's against Javier Bardem and being the Ricardos. Oh, my God. Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> the power of the dog. Will Smith as King Richard in King Richard uh, and Denzel Washington in the tragedy of Macbeth. See, that's a tough one. Yes, it is. I really wanted to go to Andrew Garfield and he actually has a really good chance of winning that. Like a really awesome. like, like, especially really that everyone chance. knows that he learned how to sing for a musical. Yeah. That's why I think he's, I think he's, he's got a really good chance of winning. And the fact that, that just just that story mm-hmm. of just like the Jonathan Larson. Wait, Javier Bardem's married to who? Penelope Cruz. And they're both nominated too. So there's two couples yeah. that are both married. Well, I don't know if they're together anymore. I could be uh-huh. wrong about that, but who knows? But um, but I think it honestly might go to Will Smith. I think Denzel's gonna win. I think Denzel is honestly Denzel might win has it, but won. I want Andrew Garfield to win. No, yeah, I, no. Again, I, I haven't seen any deliveries of Denzel Washington, but I feel like mm-hmm. his performance is, as his career is built up, I think Macbeth is a perfect performance for him, just knowing yeah. the material. Yeah, fingers crossed on Andrew Garfield. I yeah. mean, like, that would just be That's awesome. who I want to I think, I think he really deserves it. That was such a great performance. And just the story of Jonathan Larson, like, you know, and <clears> him <throat> winning the Oscar and the Golden Globe, I think is, you know, I think it's going to be, uh, I think that would be cool. That would be mm-hmm. a sweet, sweet, bittersweet ending to a f- wonderful man's legacy. Mm-hmm. Well, I think those are the big ones, except I think we have to do best picture, correct? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. for best picture, we got Belfast. Of course. Coda. Of course. Don't Look Up. Okay. Drive My Car. Mm-hmm. Dune. Mm-hmm. King Richard. Mm-hmm. Licorice Pizza. Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. The most shocking mm-hmm. thing is, I mean, like I've already mentioned, don't look up, but the, like I'm so shocked that Nightmare Alley got nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, it's kind of like Guillermo del Toro's, like, well, he's back. You got to, you kind of have to, yeah. and it does look good. I was a little underwhelmed by the movie, but that's because it's a remake. Uh-huh. I feel like if yeah. it was more from the original mind of Guillermo del Toro, I would mm-hmm. be it would be more memorable. Mm-hmm. But since it's a remake, it kind of goes under and the story aspect. But it's good, and its themes are heavy. And yes, um, they are. I'm surprised Dune is on Best Picture. Honestly, I am too. Just I as am a too. Whole. It's weird. Okay, like it, the movie was good, but it was, yeah, Best Picture phenomenon. Really? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, it's 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 odd, but you know what? I think it's gonna go to um, uh, Power of the Dog again. I've I've been hearing so many good things about it, and I really have no excuse why I haven't seen it yet. Because unlike Apple TV, I do have Netflix, and <laughs> Netflix does not judge me for having a fucking Android. <laughs> I think it's going to Belfast oh, just because it's a small picture. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing magic. Oh, I feel like I have to give you ten bucks now. I was I was impressed. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah, those are the big ones. Do you have any other ones that you want to look at? No. <laughs> so we'll probably do a special for the Oscars around yes. that time. March 27th is the date. Now Ooh. we get into the bad news. We got to go to the bad movies, quote mm-hmm. unquote. We got to go to the nominated Razzie films of 42nd annual Razzie Awards. <laughs> I just love how people like every year people get really get really mad at the Razzies. Mm-hmm. But um this year is a very special one. Yes. They they like people are really angry at the Razzies. But <laughs> honestly, there's only like I said in the beginning, there's only really one thing that was nominated, one person that was nominated where I was like, okay, that's that's shitty of you guys. <laughs> I think that I think that the Razzies are very important and a really funny time of the year i really do i don't i shouldn't have said important but i i I (laughs) get excited and the fact that that people are like oh we want to get rid of the razzies because it's so negative is just Mm -hmm. a huge eye roll to me it's like youtube getting rid of the thumbs down button exactly it's like who cares if they don't like your video (laughs) or they didn't like your movie there's so many movies that i love that were nominated for razzies like big daddy was nominated for every single category Wow. I understand why people would be angry at that. Adam Sandler won worst actor for that movie. I wow. understand why you would get mad at that. But then, so yeah, of course, we have movies like that where like the Academy, you're like, why are, why did you pick on that movie so much? It's, it's, it's an innocent movie. But then mm-hmm. you look at movies like Jack and Jill and you're like, well, yeah, you want to see it be nominated for everything. And it, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was the first movie that won in like nearly every category it was nominated for. Almost a sweep. Which again, mm-hmm. it's, it's hysterical. It's a good time. I, I enjoy the Razzies, even so, when they piss me off. <laughs> for those who don't know, the Razzies are just the opposite of uh, the Oscars. Anti-Oscars. The, the anti-Oscars. And they always get released the day before. And uh, I will let Justin take the helm on this one. <laughs> Yay. The, the, the thing is that some of my favorite categories that used to be on the Razzies are not even here anymore, which no is way. super odd to me. So let's start with worst screenplay. Uh, worst screenplay goes to Diana the Musical, which I <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen. I think um, it's actually a stage. It's in. It's on yeah. Broadway right now too, right? And they just yeah. made it. Put they did like a recording of it and put it on yeah. Netflix. It's interesting. It's so weird. But anyways, uh, then we have Karen by Coke Daniels. This is written by Coke Daniels, which is, uh, yeah. I haven't seen Karen, but I've heard really, really funny things. I really do want to see it. because Is that the sounds... one that's they made like a horror movie off the meme of a Karen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Why and, is uh, that not best original screenplay? Like that's I know. <laughs> it's it, like I saw a trailer for it and I've seen some reviews and I, yeah, no, it looks, it looks so horrific, mm-hmm. but it looks really, really funny. I want to see it. The Misfits, which I have not seen or heard of. Mm-hmm. Twist, I literally just found out about, but dude, check this out, man. Twist is written by one, two, there's eight people <laughs> that wrote yeah. that movie. Yeah, Twist. Yeah, it's supposed to be Oliver Twist, but like a hood version of Oliver Twist. Oh, really? Um, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the woman in the window, which I I couldn't even finish. I understand why that movie's nominated. I, I'm I feel bad for Amy Adams because she's been she's been fucking up recently. All right, worst director Christopher Ashley for Diane of the Musical, uh, <laughs> Steven Chbosky for Dear Evan, which I totally agree with. It was mainly direction. That movie sucks. Coke Daniels yet again for Karen, Rennie Harlan for The Misfits, and Joe Wright for The Woman in the Window. I can't believe Joe Wright directed that. He's the guy that also did um. Uh, Wasn't he an Oscar nominated director? Yeah, he did. Uh, uh, he did Joe, the Nicolas Cage movie. Worst remake, rip off, or sequel? Karen, <laughs> an inad- inadvertent remake of Corella Deville. That's hysterical. Hmm. Space Jam: A New Legacy. Thank God. Tom and Jerry. Twist: A rap remake of Oliver Twist. And the Woman in the Window rip off of Rear Window. Of course. Uh, I think uh, Space Jam. And or Tom and Jerry should definitely take that because fuck both those movies. Um, worst screen couple, uh, any <laughs> any klutzy cast member and any lamely lyricized or choreographed musical number from Diana the Musical. <laughs> oh, okay. 
LeBron James and any Warner cartoon character or Time Warner product he dribbles on. He dribbles <laughs> on. New legacy. Jared Leto and either his 17 pound latex face, his geeky clothes, or his ridiculous accent for House of Gucci. I and think ben Platt win. and any other character who acts like Platt singing 24 7 is normal for Darren Hanson and Tom and Jerry, aka Itchy and Scratchy for Tom and Jerry. Hmm. I think it's either going to go to Jared Leto or Ben Platt. I because, think it's going to go yeah. to Jared Leto. And I think they should have nominated Ben Platt for instead of who's acting like singing 24 7 is normal, they should have made it acting like he's the same age as everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree there. Or, or the, the that's why I think Jared Leto's going to win. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm honestly the main thing I'm disappointed about is that Dear Evan Hansen was not nominated for more things, but that's that's totally fine. <laughs> uh, so we're supporting actor. This is where this is where the I, I think they're they're picking on my boy. Mm-hmm. But we got Ben Affleck for the last duel, which you know, leave him alone. <laughs> uh, Nick Cannon for the Misfits, which I don't even know what that is. Uh, Mel Gibson for Dangerous, never heard of that either. Uh, Garth Keegan as James Hewitt, the muscle bound horse trainer for Diana. Interesting, <laughs> specific. I came, I kind of want to watch this movie now. <laughs> and then, uh, Jared Leto for House of Gucci. I think it's going to go to Jared Leto. I hope it goes to Jared Leto. Um, yeah. he was terrible, but Ben Affleck, have you seen The Last Duel yet? It's on HBO Max now. I have not, I want to. Ben Affleck but... is good in that. He is good. It's yeah. it's a weird movie in the sense of it feels half modern dialogue, half like that era. But mm. I think it's done pretty well, and his acting is done really well. He's not supposed to be likable, and his character is 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 well done. I think. I, just... I, the only reason why they did it is because they just love picking on my boy Ben Affleck. Okay, but, leave the boy alone. They really do. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say that they. Last Duel is a good good performance from Ben Affleck. Yeah. So, yeah, Jared Leto. Hopefully Anyways. he wins. Yeah, I, I think it's going to go to Jared Leto. Everyone seems like everyone seems like they're together, that, that Jared Leto is just awful and he should just stop like mm-hmm. as soon as possible. Um, we're supporting an actress. <laughs> this is so sad that Amy Adams has come this low in her career. Yeah. If she got nominated for – she's this her second nomination. Uh, she's worst supporting an actress for Dear Evan Hansen, and then we'll talk about worst actress soon here. Uh, but that sucks because she was really bland in Dear Evan Hansen. But I just feel bad for her because I feel like her agent is just mad at her or something. We also have Sophie Sophie Cookson for Infinite, which I didn't even bother seeing. Uh, yeah, Ernie Davy Paramount Plus movie. Yeah, yeah, uh, with uh, Mark Wahlberg, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about him in a second. Uh, we have Ernie Davy as Camilla and Diana the Musical. Judy K as both Queen Elizabeth and Barbara Cartlin. <laughs> Diana the musical. Oh, okay. And Taryn Manning for every last one of them, which once again I've not. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I just love. <laughs> they really hunt them really, down. They really are not like Diana the musical. Yeah, I think they really just wanted to rival Spencer, and they thought Spencer is going to be nominated for more. I feel like. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. That's probably that probably is it. Uh, so <laughs> now we got worst actress. Uh, we have Amy Adams yet again for The Woman in the Window. So The Woman sad. in the Window, real quick, is directed by Joe Wright. He's mm-hmm. like an Oscar-nominated director. He did uh, The Darkest Hour with... Um, the Darkest Hour. With uh, 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 Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. Yeah. Oh, and he, wow. He also has that movie Serrano, or Cyrano, which is coming out this year or this month. And he did Anna Karina, I think, and Atonement oh, wow. and Pride and Prejudice. And so he oh, is. Wow. And then, so this is surprising. This is like something entirely different from what he's normally doing. The woman in the window. I feel like this was a paycheck job and now everyone's ripping him apart like a studio thing. Cause it's an adaptation. Yeah. And he, and then yes. he made Cyrano right after, which is way more in the tone of where he makes. Uh-huh. But yeah. I think, I think he made this movie to make that movie in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And it that's, sucks that he's getting ripped fair. apart. I mean, I've never seen The Woman in the Window, but he got that Netflix money, right? Wasn't that a Netflix movie? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Netflix he probably movie. did that for that. Now he's just getting uh, ripped apart. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. So he's uh, in the Oscars and in the Razzies this year. Yeah, man. That's that's two, two different movies. That's hey, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, he'll be one of those guys. 
so we also we, we have Amy Adams for the woman in the window. We have G, uh, G, 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 Gianna, G. <laughs> Wall. Oh, sorry, uh, for Diana the musical. I'm assuming that she played Diana. Gina De Wall. G- <laughs> is that what, is that? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> China <laughs> uh, oopsie daisy uh megan fox we love megan fox on this channel mm-hmm. uh for midnight and the switchgrass which fucking what the fuck is that shit yeah she I'm made like sure... four movies i think in 20 for that came out last year she's really trying to make that comeback uh, yeah don't call it a comeback <laughs> yeah i don't know about her man she's really annoying me her and machine gun kelly are fucking annoying as hell right now <laughs> Uh, Taryn Manning for Karen, which once again, I want to see that movie very bad. And then Ruby Rose for Vanquish. Like R- Ruby Rose is direct or acting. I, I wouldn't I, call it. She does acting. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I, I'm, I'm with you on that, baby. <laughs> All right. And then we got worst actor, Scott Eastwood for dangerous Roe heart heart row heart the guy, the, the guy that plays prince charles and diana the musical yeah uh lebron james for space jam a new legacy ben platt for dear evan hansen and mark Wahlberg for infinite thank god um i i'm so glad that everybody's on the same page that mark Wahlberg is just an awful, awful actor i haven't seen infinite but it's interesting that we choose him for an action movie too normally you don't take their acting that seriously in action movies yeah but they really considered yeah. it i think they're just trying to talk about the level of the movie i heard yeah it's not very good in general yeah I Makes heard sense. It was terrible too. Um, <laughs> if that does not go to Ben Platt, I'm gonna be disappointed. I can see it going to Ben Platt. I think it's gonna go to Ben Platt, but I would also love to see LeBron James get it because he was. Awful. I could see LeBron James accepting the award, honestly. And then uh, we got uh, worst picture. We got worst picture. We got Diana the musical. Who would have thought the Netflix version? Uh, Infinite, the Paramount Plus action movie. Karen, the Karen movie. Space Jam, A New Legacy, and The Woman in the Window. What is The Woman in the Window? I <sighs> That movie was boring, so I, I see it. I see why. Interesting. I mean, Space Jam <sighs> is bad, <laughs> unfortunately. Yes, but Space Jam is awful. I can see. I think they're going to, mm, I don't know. I don't know what they would give it to. It's kind of a weird worst picture. It's kind of underwhelming to me. Uh-huh. It's, yeah, it is very underwhelming. So um, my favorite category on here, though, (laughs) which we definitely need to talk about is uh, Bruce Willis has his own fucking category for the Razzies, which I just I think is just (laughs) absolutely amazing. So Bruce Willis was in so many movies this year. (laughs) Yeah, his worst performance by Bruce Willis in a 2021 movie. So it's just from that specific year. Yeah, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> movies. He came out with eight movies in one year. People give Nicolas Cage shit, but goddamn, dude, at least Nicolas Cage tries. You don't. Yeah. Talk. Bruce Willis is just asleep. Like I don't know how the man's still walking. I don't know what he's. I don't mm. know what kind of pills he's taking. Where he's still, he's still up, but he's asleep still. But one of the movies is what Midnight, uh, uh, Midnight in the Switchgrass. That's one of the movies that um, Megan Fox is nominated for. Yeah, it's Megan Fox. And I think uh, Machine Gun Kelly is in that too. And everyone's like, they were trying to market it and be like, look, they were in the movie together. And it, oh, it wasn't very good. God. But I think I think he's going to win for that one. Um, but all the movies he's nominated for, I, I've only, I've seen the covers for on like, streaming and stuff some like hulu yeah. kind of there's american siege apex cosmic sin deadlock fortress midnight in the switchgrass out of death and survive the game that's i guarantee you bruce willis's agent just said those words to him and he said okay he didn't read anything yeah. they just he just told him yeah. the title yeah those don't even sound like real movies <laughs> that's yeah it's so funny so, I, I, uh, I, either I, way, I he's going to be a winner. Bruce Willis is a winner this year. <laughs> right? a winner. No matter what, he's going to win. <laughs> we need is... a category like that in the Oscars. <laughs> we do. We do. We should. Do, we should have done that for Andrew Garfield. Yeah. So I was just that was the that was the first my that was the first name yeah. I thought of too. Because honestly, Andrew Garfield like, performance say, of 2021. Yeah. Say what you will with mainstream that he fucking delivered. Mm-hmm. Pretty great. Huh? <laughs> That's pretty great. So those are the best and worst. 
yeah, of the past that's season. The worst. <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, it feels good to be back. <laughs> it does. I'm excited for our next episodes, which we will go back to our normal movie news. Um, Marvel, Marvel movie news. I can't speak. <laughs> sometimes I can't hear myself in these ears, so I just kind of like mumble sometimes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, next week we're going back to our regular format of movie news. Justin and I both saw Jackass Forever. We will be giving our oh, yes. opinions to that next week. Uh, you haven't seen Scream yet, have you? I have not. Have you read anything? Do you know who? No, who, no, who, no, no, who, no, no, no. Who or what happens? No, no, I kept, I, I, I oh, good. don't know good for anything. You. Yes, yes. I think I, the Scream community is it. doing a very good job at not posting things yes and i know a lot of people that have <laughs> seen it and uh, i yelled at one friend because they were talking about it i was They're like what speaking did I confidently say? without it yep. yeah i yep. was first pissed because they saw it without me Ooh. which i'm still kind of pissed off about i don't mm-hmm. think i'm ever gonna get over it yeah that's an experience that if anyone who knows us knows that's an experience yep. i was very upset yeah we were gonna all see it together and then yep I forgot to answer my phone, so I guess it is my <laughs> But you can call again. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They knew. And they did. And these people have the audacity to come back and hang out with me. <laughs> and, and, and one of them says, who is texting me? I haven't even seen the other screams. <laughs> so this is the first scream movie that I've seen. I was like, you get the fuck away from me. I mean, you get away from me. I wouldn't say if you were going to start with any scream, this one would be an, a good one to start with because it's not. Uh, you have to start with scream. 1996. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> very simple. Very simple. There's literally no there are rules. <laughs> when people say to me, oh, I have not seen scream two, but I've seen scream three. And I have not seen Scream 1, but I've mm-hmm. seen Scream 2. I'm like, what? it's fucking simple, guys. Yeah, I, my, the, I went with a person who hasn't seen Scream 2 or 3, and I was a little bit like... But they saw uh, Scream 4? I don't know if they saw Scream 4. They might have seen Scream 4, actually. This this world that we're living in, Elijah... They definitely saw the first crumbling. one, because I took them to see it in theaters. And they're like, okay, I get it. Mm. And then, yeah, then they just saw the newest one. So I think they missed all the middle ones. And I was like, have you seen them yet? And he's like, oh, they're all kind of the same, you know, stab, stab, oh. stab. And I'm like, if you think that, then I'm just going to say you don't you don't have to watch the other ones. Then <laughs> if that's yeah. your opinion on Scream. So uh, are you still friends with them? Was- <gasps> but he's oh, not my. big on horror movies. That's why. The so. gall. Yeah, but the he, he's gall. not big on movies. I'm not a big horror movie guy either. But I mean, like Scream is a monumental. Scream is cinema. <laughs> Scream is fucking cinema. <laughs> scream is life so yeah i'm say. very excited for when you do see it because then we'll have a lot to talk about for scream yes because that the sequel for that was green lit so we don't know where that's gonna go it's all up in the air oh yeah it's very interesting and they're Ooh. shooting it this summer apparently very quick Ooh, kind of like they did with one and two in the first scream movies but um Interesting, interesting yeah so join us next week though when we talk about jackass all that talk is scream because <laughs> yeah. speaking of legacy sequels yeah jackass yeah. forever is yes. uh yeah we'll be talking about that next week and a bunch of other stuff hell yeah thank you for joining us again thank you for sticking through one year hell yeah big one yeah uh check out justin's pages to see when he's doing shows um and yeah let us know what you're watching and follow us on social media and all that stuff. Thanks for being patient. And uh, if you've been relying on our schedule for your schedule, we apologize. We've been missing. We are back uh, for yes. now. <laughs> yes. Until one of us uh, breaks a toe or something. But even yes. then, we'll, 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 we'll do it. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you did just see jackass toe. forever. So I, I wouldn't be surprised. Some stuff might happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kept it cool. Usually, when after I'm I'm done watching that shit, I want to do something really stupid. But I actually kept it pretty damn cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm proud of you. Thank you. And, <laughs> um, cool. See everyone next week. Good luck in your shows, Justin. Thank you. Break a leg. I don't know what they say for comedians. Do it all. We'll just say. <laughs> do it all. Do it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
it's like just do it but you know not it's it's above that yeah. you know do it all <laughs> that's gonna be that's my new uh, that's gonna be my merch i'm gonna make pick i'm gonna make t-shirts to just say that do it all i love it yeah yes all right bye guys bye <laughs>